chat, uh, why don't, uh, Vedant, why don't you give me uh, two numbers? Yeah, two numbers, numerator, denominator. Arjun, you give me two more. Arjun uh, Yenamadi and Arjun Nayar, give me uh, two more. Vedant? Arjun has 72 by 217. Arjun Nair has uh, 76 by 21. And uh, Vedant gave me 2 by 9. Okay. So there we go. We can see that uh, the number that uh, Arjun Nair gave us is the largest of the three. The one that uh, Vedant gave us is the smallest of the three. Yeah. Uh, let's try uh, three more numbers. Uh, Jacob, Ashna, and Jayavardhan. Numerator, denominator. Uh, not on the, please, on the class chat, not uh, on the uh, shared, uh, not on this, yeah, so, Jacob, please, on the class chat. Sixty-nine and three. Okay, so that's, that's close you can see that uh, the blue and green ones are close enough but yeah you can actually see that the blue one is bigger uh, yeah both of them have the same denominator of course and um, the numerator of the blue one is bigger but I can uh, I can you know shift and uh, scroll up and uh, you know be able to then see where you know it, it zooms in and then I'm able to s expand the, the gap between them to see exactly what is uh, bigger and what is smaller yeah so that's that's what I can do uh, using the, the zoom zoom function okay so that's that's the first app uh, we move to the second one which is the construction of irrational numbers again as I said we can move uh, B and C so I move B yeah I can move C yeah. Uh, so, so I can I can do all that sort of thing. Yeah. So the idea again is that I'm going to get some irrational numbers along the way. Uh, B C and B E most likely are going to be irrational. Okay. And uh, correspondingly, uh, I get their values to uh, uh, three significant figures in uh, you know written alongside. So 4.94 here and 4.49 for the green line. Now I can uh, um, ensure that I have uh, you know, proper values. So here I have B, a small b will be 4 units, a small c will be 2 units and so uh, b squared plus c squared will be 20 so I should be getting uh, square root of 20 as the length of bc. Then with the length of bc being square root of 20 and CE being 2 again, yeah, I should be able to get uh, the, the, you know, the squares of them to be 20, some of the squares to be 24, and then the pink line will have a length of square root of 24. Is that okay? Yeah, so you'll be asked to move things, you know, uh, make sure that B is something and C is something else and uh, then obtain the values yeah uh, so what is the approximate value of and you have to determine which of these is is giving you the actual value yeah, yeah. so is 6.7 the actual value that you're looking for or is it 7.33 yeah that is uh, something that you need to determine in in the quiz okay for the third applet uh, let me make it zoom and go out uh, yeah there we go Okay, so as I move A on the slider, you can see that the point A moves 
uh, back and forth okay and correspondingly the point B also moves back and forth okay now I'm going to show the second tangent let me keep A to be four units I have my second tangent now I want you to calculate this yeah uh, I have the area of triangle CED um, is 10.04 area of triangle ACB is uh, 27.3 please find the ratio of the bigger one to the smaller one yeah, 27.3 divided by 10.04 can you tell me what that is in the chat regular chat You can use your calculators if you need. Yeah. Larger to smaller. Yeah, larger to smaller. Two point seven one nine. Others? Two point six nine two. That's quite a wide variation. Yeah. So one of you at least is wrong. Anyone can confirm either of their answers? Ashna says it's 2.719. So, Jacob, you need to check your working. Please note it is not 10.4, which I suspect you have done, but it's 10.04. Yeah. Okay, let's make A B equal to 5. Yeah. Um, 5. Okay, so we have uh, smaller is 27.3, larger is 74.21. Please find the ratio again. I don't need that many digits, Vedant. Just uh, uh, four or five digits is enough. Two point seven one eight. Okay. Let's make A equal to six. So I have uh, seventy four point two one and two hundred and one point seven one. Okay, so you, I hope you're seeing a pattern here. Uh, the ratio of the two areas, yes, uh, is this is equal to E actually. Yeah, uh, the value that you're getting. If we had given you more significant figures here, I'm giving you only uh, to two decimal places. But if I had given you more, uh, the ratio would turn out to be exactly E. Yeah, that is one of the properties of. Uh, uh, of E. So this graph itself, the red graph, has that sort of a property that these consecutive triangles that you're drawing uh, turn out to have the same ratio. Okay, we'll look at these numbers now here, the, the height of these dotted lines. So the blue line has a height of 403.43, the green one has 148.41. Uh, please again find the ratio. funny how these things happen eh? yeah so again no matter what you do I can take A to be equal to uh, 1 and we have our 
values there uh, they've actually quite collapsed yeah but one height is exactly e it has been rounded to two significant figures so it shows up as 2.72 but that is actually exactly equal to e yeah and uh, that's another property of this graph the ratio of the consecutive heights is uh, uh, is equal to e yeah so at any point you can see see that that's what's going to happen you'll be asked to draw some conclusions based on this uh, in the quiz so keep and keep uh, your thinking hats on yeah, for that do you all have any questions for this uh, you know how to operate the three um, applets they're pretty straightforward not too many controls